Hi everyone, this is Kathy from Iridology Fusion. Thanks for watching. I want to talk to you today about the common mistake that iridologists can make, and that's our mistake number seven, and that's not using body systems. We need to get into a habit of looking at the eye and talking about strengthening these body systems that we have as a whole. So let's go a little bit further and see what I'm talking about. When we look at the iris, it's a time of excitement for iridologists. We get so jazzed up and so excited about what we're going to see in our client's eyes. And a lot of times there's so many things to see that we do get overwhelmed. That goes back to my teaching pod. The very first one that I talked about was overwhelming the client with the information. But if we learn to keep the information that we see, the markings that we see, if we keep these in a body system, it's going to be a lot easier to talk to the client about strengthening that particular system. By sticking to the system that we're looking at in the eye, this is going to give us more direction on how to help our client. So looking at this picture, it's a friend of mine, and when I first saw her eyes, I noted what a beautiful polyglandular eye she had. When I told her, your eye is polyglandular, she had no idea what I was talking about. So I decided to break that down to help her understand better what I was speaking of. I talked about the orange staining that we see. I talked about the orange pigment that we can see in the eye. I also showed her the areas of 2 o'clock, 4, 8, and 10 o'clock to point out the genetic markings for weakness or areas of nurture with the glandular system. There's also perifocal lightning in the 4 o'clock position, which relates directly to the pancreas. We can also see the open lacuna in the kidney area with a little bit of rarefaction and a little bit of perifocal lightening around the edge. Also, the ovary is showing us a lacuna with a little bit of reaction, as well as the pituitary gland. So we can actually see a few more areas outside of the polyglandular system, or the glandular system, we can see the kidney. Now we know that kidneys are involved with sugar and the distribution of emptying the uh, proteins and the, the fluids from the body, the cleansing of, of proteins from the blood. This is, is also involved with the polyglandular subtype. You have to pay attention to the kidneys. Also the pituitary gland, you have to pay attention to that gland. It is part of the glandular system. So I was able to keep everything within the glandular system and explain to her how sugar could be a culprit for her, that she needed to really watch the sugar. She went on to explain to me that she is a vegetarian and she has been a lifelong vegetarian since she was a small child. Sugar is her weakness. Her father had issues with diabetes. He lost his legs. He ate sugar up until he died. So she learned a good lesson by watching him through his diet that sugar was very, very destructive and could be harmful for her. After validating this in her eye, she does agree that sugar is bad for her, for her particular type, and that she does need to use sugar within moderation. So she does use honey and maple syrup as white sugar alternatives. So when we talk to the client about strengthening the system, that gives lots of area for the client to build on. We're going to talk to them about the diet. We're going to talk to them about supplementation. We may talk to them about other therapies, other natural therapies that can help them. So be sure 
and use the body's systems to guide you. Here's some common denominators that you may want to pay attention to. When you notice the digestion, you're looking at the stomach, the bowel, the small intestine. This is the nutritive zone. If you're looking in the glandular system, you're looking at the pancreas, the pituitary, the adrenals, the thyroid. This is your polyglandular subtype. When you see that, automatically go and look at that system. This is a really good guide. This takes you directly to the source. The lymphatic system, you're going to pay attention to the appendix or the thymus gland. You might want to look for tophi or hydrogenoid subtype. That's going to take you right into the lymphatic system. The hepatic system, the liver, the spleen, the gallbladder. Be sure and look for brown pigments. When we're looking at the skeletal system, of course, we're looking in the area of the spine. That's going to be zone five, where we find the skeletal system. That's going to tell us a lot about our bones. Be sure and look for rarefaction in different areas, separation of fibers, over acid tendencies, and even tophi out in zone five. The urinary system, you're going to be noticing the bladder, the kidneys, even the ureter tubes. You want to look for yellow pigmentation because this can lead you right into that urinary system. Reproductive system, the prostate, the gonads, the, the organs of reproduction. Our ovaries are going to be seen as well as testes in this area. Look for tophi, look for pigments and lacuna that can direct you directly into the reproductive system. So thanks for watching. I appreciate your attention. The next time we speak, we're going to be talking about the common mistake number eight, and that is not working with the digestion first. Thanks again. See you next time.